Welcome to HubSpot with Paragon, questions edition. Today we're looking at a pretty awesome question from Gustavo. It says, hi all, is there a way that I can, way I can trigger a workflow when a deal is created without an associated company? I want to create a task for the deal owner to fix this and associate the correct account. Totally agree with you, Gustavo. Definitely need to have an associated company if you're going to have a deal. And we should find a way to, to recommend that to people. So. I'm going to run over to my instance real quick. I'm actually going to go back real quick. I've created two workflows. So what's interesting about this, this is kind of an interesting paradigm because um, right now in HubSpot, there, when you go look at a deal, if you want to trigger off anything, there isn't anything that says associated company is unknown. Um, there's actually nothing that says associated company. But if you go into a company or a contact, you'll actually, or if you go into a company, you'll see like associated contacts or associated deals. So we work backwards in a different direction on this one. And so I'm actually going to, I created a workflow. So this is the similar workflow. Um, I'll give you some ideas we can do, but I just said uh, associated deals is known. So if the associated deals are known, then I'm going to create a, um, I was going to, I created a field. I called it company name in the deal. And it's just a hidden field or property. Um, you just need to, leave it there and this could be a drop down or a single I I think it needs to be a single line text in order for you to be able to do a good copy of what you want to do so all I'm asking it to do is if there is an associated um, deal that is known with the company then copy the name of the company that's that we're in and copy it to the deal property that I just created called company name and what this does is this actually creates something in the deal that tells us yes or no that there's an associated um, company. So now I'm going to go over to my other workflow that I created that says no associated company. So I just said, hey, the create date is known. That's all I have to know for the deal for this one. You can start it at a certain point if you want moving forward. Mine's just create date. It doesn't matter what the trigger is as long as it's something that goes and looks for a uh, looks in the deal from a certain point on. And then I put a little bit of a delay and the reason for this is that sometimes a deal gets created and the association um, doesn't occur yet for my other trigger um, that would actually fill in that um, item on the deal. It's not immediate. So I'm going to give it a five minute delay just to give the workflow enough time to trigger it and also to give your sales guy enough time to maybe associate the company as he gets moving. You could, you could extend this if you want to give him a day. And if he hasn't put the company in, then you want to send him a reminder, great. Uh, but you, I would say at least an hour um, if they haven't put something in that you would trigger this off. So just a little delay. And then I want it to go in and check for my other parameter. Is the company name known? Remember, if there was an associated deal, it would have copied over into this field. If it was known, then nothing would happen. It would just say company name is unknown. No, it's known. Then it would just drop off and finish. But in this case... If the uh, if they forgot to associate it, now I can send off an internal email saying, hey, update company association, add company to deal and the deal name and send it to whoever the deal owner is, save, and then I can kick this off now and review it and I can enroll the existing ones that I have. So you'll notice I have a number of deals in here that, that don't have it. I'm going to hate say no because I don't need 419 emails coming over to me, but I could also review this list. Um, it's a great way for you to figure out if this is existing or not. Go ahead and turn that on. And now your workflow, every single time on my newest deal moving forward, if I create a deal now and it doesn't have an associated contact after five minutes, our associated company, um, it will send me a notification. So hopefully this helps you, Gustavo. Um, if you have further questions about how this is done, let me know. But hopefully this video gives you a, a better explanation than just words could do. Thanks. And uh, again, if you ever have questions, please reach out to Paragon.